All right, guys, we are back. We're heading back to Sasquatch Rock, as we call it. Um, this was the rock where we had the encounter last time we were here. Um, there was some rocks thrown at my tent in the middle of the night, as well as some a whole bunch of rocks stacked up on the top of this big rock here. And we've had so many comments. Um, I actually talked to a, a, a Sasquatch researcher here in BC who said one thing we should try because he said they were trying to communicate with us. So one thing we should try, he said, was to uh, make an offering to them. Now, several of you in the comments said, um, maybe the way the rocks were stacked and they were open on one side, that possibly Sasquatch was sort of suggesting to us that he was open to an offering. So what we were planning on doing was coming out here, setting up rocks in a semi-similar fashion, where it's sort of a circle and with one end open to them, like showing them there's an offering. Um, we're putting an apple and we're gonna document the thing. Now it's starting to get dark. So it's just after dinner time here and the sun is about down and we're going to set this up in a way, like I said, that we're gonna document it and we're gonna show you guys everything that we find out. Now, we've had a lot of interest with that last video and to tell you the truth we are interested now as well um, we never were before this but after that experience and then also finding that footprint in Port Alberti uh, we documented that as well so if you haven't seen it go back and check our video um, after that footprint and after that experience here we wanted to find out more I mean we weren't necessarily believers before but we are certainly open to the idea um, and we were pretty freaked out that night that we had it happen to us. So this is what we're doing tonight, guys. We are going to set this up in a way that undoubtedly, if it changes, um, we'll know that something or somebody was here. Now, there's nobody in the campsite. We came late in the summer. Um, there's nobody up here. And we are camped down below, a, I don't know, about 600 yards away from here. We thought that if there is a Sasquatch, he was going to come down, he or she was going to come down and take the offering. Um, that if we were far enough away, they might be more likely to do it. So I'm going to show you guys all the way around here, okay, what's on the ground. Because last time some of you pointed out that there were some sticks that were crossed as well. And that's one of the signs of Sasquatch we found out as well. So we're going to look around the whole thing. And then I'll give you guys a picture on the top of what it looks like. Now... I don't see any obvious crossing of sticks right now. There's no obvious indication of any kind of signaling here. It looks like a hoof, like maybe a deer or something. Yeah, there's a bit of a print right here. Could be a bear. It's pretty big, actually. It could be a something, something a little larger, like a wolf or something. But that's about it. That's about all that's here, guys. So. If you remember from the last video, we have a big hill behind us. Now, there's a little ridge right there that's a forestry road. It's pretty well unused. So, that's the forest that we're going to be climbing up to to do a little investigation in there. And this is how our rocks look, guys. So, I'm going to give you a close-up of exactly how they look. And the apple, and it's open to that side where they came from before. So... Let's hope we get some activity tonight, guys. And like I said, we're camped far enough away that we're not as freaked out as we were the night that it happened. I'm hoping no rocks get thrown at my tent tonight. Um, but we're going to be back in the morning. First thing in the morning to investigate. 